Hello, I'm Jeff Chandler for the Events Calendar. Do you have a lot of flows and want more tools to manage them? Well, the good news is you can easily monitor your power automate endpoints, which are triggers and actions used by your connectors via the power automate endpoint dashboard. So here we see on your screen, we've got the events calendar set up. We're going to go to events, settings, then we'll click on the integrations tab. And we'll scroll all the way down until we get to the Power Automate Endpoint Dashboard. The dashboard lists all endpoints available for the events calendar and event tickets, Power Automate connectors. Here we'll see a couple different columns. Uh, the first one being name. This is the endpoint's name. Then we have last access. This is the name of the app that last accessed that endpoint along with the date and time. Then we have queue which is the number of unprocessed flows queued for the corresponding endpoint. And last but not least, we have actions. We have clear queue and disable. Clear queue wipes the queue for that endpoint clean, while disable or enable lets you enable or disable a specific endpoint. For example, you can prevent misuse or access to an endpoint that you're not using, or you can use it as a makeshift panic button. This was a quick overview of the Power Automate Endpoint Dashboard. We'll be adding additional information to the knowledge base covering this topic in the near future. If you run into any problems with Power Automate, please reach out to our support team.